This is Bob Sansevier. I'm here with Gophers beat reporter Marcus Fuller and Pioneer Press Deputy Sports Editor John Plume. Let's get right to it. Marcus, the Gophers, last few games, Ralph Sampson III has become much more involved in the offense and other aspects of the game. It took a while for that to happen. What other things might people see as the season goes on that are suddenly, you know, other players that may step up and get more involved, maybe because they were young like uh, Sampson and still learning what Tubby Smith wanted, but are there other things we might expect, or could this have been the big move during the season? Well, obviously they needed an inside scoring presence, and – um, I've, I've been saying from the beginning of the season that Sampson had to be that, and I think everybody that watches Gopher basketball and, and you know, the coaches included, you know, they were waiting for Sampson to emerge as that scoring presence inside, something they've been missing. They missed last year, something they were missing up until this point. And, you know, I really don't see too many of the other newcomers making a jump in production just because there's really no room for one other guy to fill a, a specific need. Watching this team, do you think they got Michigan State um, Wednesday night? They got dominated off the boards the last time they played. The uh, this sudden surge by the way Samson has played and Colton Iverson, they both know what they're going to expect against Michigan State. Do you think we see an entirely different game and the Gophers maybe uh, keep it a little more even on the boards? I think they'll play better, but I don't think they'll win. I just think trying to win on win in the Big Ten on the road is a difficult task. Um, they're freshmen. Uh, they're still learning. They learn every game. I agree with Marcus. Samson gives them a great athlete inside who can jump. Um, he can defend. And, you know, Iverson, he's coming along well. You know, he's six foot 11, 240 pounds. He gives them a big body in there, but I don't think he's progressed to the extent that Samson has, who's really starting to come into his own now. Marcus, what, uh, I mean, if you, it's tough to put a percentage on anything, but are we seeing 25% of what Ralph Sampson could be if he were to stay for four years, which is unlikely because he's such a terrific player. No guy stays at four years when they're as good as this kid can be. But what, I mean, how far and long is his development have we seen him get? Well, I think that uh, it's hard to put a number on it, but I'd say, I mean, his potential, if you look at anybody else on this team, and I mean, even in the Big Ten right now, um, his potential is off the charts just because of the fact that. I mean, he comes from the pedigree he does, you know, it, you see his wingspan is about seven foot four. Um, he's got a hook shot. He's got a 15 foot jumper. Um, I mean, there's some post moves that he's talked to me about. And I know I've seen him uh, use it in practice that he hasn't used in games. And it, it's all about confidence. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Marcus, John, we'll talk to you next week.